Do you like Yuya? Well, if you do, then Konami thinks you're a cow. What? They are milking you. Box after box. Squeezing those udders. Yoink, yoink, yoink. That is your money going out of you. No more money. Every box they release new Odd Eyes cards, but finally, Odd Eyes after box after box after box is now good. But is it great? Can we Black Rose the fields? Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. No! Bro, I can't even... What the... What the... I'm waiting on the spiral flame. Skyris effect... Grab you. Activate you. Come forth and summon from the deck. Should we pendulum into dark armed? Dark arm, try to destroy as many cards as we can. Can't Sky Iris destroy a set monster? Just do your thing. We we have to force him to activate his cards. Okay. Pop that. Pop that. Book. Book of Moon. Book of Moon. Everything's face down. What the hell? What the hell? Spiral flame strike the set. Die. Well, it wasn't even activatable. What the? What the? Pendulum Shokan. Is this lethal? Is this lethal damage? 25? 28? Double damage? Is, it, is this lethal? I ain't whipping out my calculator for that. Lethal! Whoa! Yes! Let's go! That's what dual taining is all about. We dual taining. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Here's the deck I ended up with. Yes, it's very expensive. Like I said, Konami thinks you're a cow. And I am Konami's cow. They milked me real hard for this deck because if you notice, the main deck does not have a single non-ultra rare or a non-super rare. This is a super pay to play a decent deck. It is not good turn one, but it's got a pretty powerful turn two. I don't think the deck is top tier, but it's good enough to reach King of Games. What was new? Well, we got Pendulum Call, we got Spiral Flame Strike, and we got Arc Pendulum Dragon. I'm gonna do my best to simplify this deck for you so it does not go over your head. This deck is all about if you can summon two level sevens onto the field, you have a one turn kill. If you could summon a single level seven synchro onto the fields, you have a one turn kill. So what we wanna do is we wanna level seven synchro or summon two level sevens, then we could one turn kill. What is the one turn kill? We'll work our way backwards. The one turn kill is Ebon Illusion Magician. With Ebon Illusion Magician, we will summon a magician from the hand or deck, which will be Dragon Pit or Dragon Pulse. Then when either of them attack, you will banish a card in the field, monster or back row, and then you're gonna attack directly for game. Now, how do you win with Dragon Pit and the Ebon Illusion? It's not 4,000 damage, but it actually is because Tie That Binds with the third monster on the field will boost up the field. If that third monster cannot attack, that's okay. The Dragon Pit will get boosted enough alongside the Ebon Illusion, so that's 4,000 damage. That's why I'm using Ties. Now it's obvious with two level sevens, you can make the Ebon Illusion. How come a single Synchro could also make this? Well, the single Synchro is gonna be an Odd Eyes Meteor Burst. 
Meteor Burst on Summon will special summon a level 7 from your Pendulum Zone, which will be the level 7 Odd Eyes Pendulum, the level 7 Odd Eyes Arc, and the level 7 Dragon Pit. So with the Meteor Burst and the level 7 you summoned from your back row, you have the Ebon Illusion. There are two ways to summon a level 7 monster onto the field. Way number one is going to be through the Arc Pendulum Dragon. If you destroy an Odd Eyes card you control on the field, the Arc will activate special summoning a level 7 onto the field. How do you destroy your own card? Well, you have Sky Iris. Sky Iris can destroy an Odd Eyes card you control that's face up, and then that will activate the Arc Pendulum Dragon to special summon a level 7 onto the field from the deck hand or grave. You could even use Spiral Flame Strike to destroy your own Odd Eyes to then activate the Arc Pendulum as a Pendulum Scale to summon a level 7 onto the field. Now, way number two to summon a level 7 onto the field is going to be through Pendulum Summoning. We have Scale 8s, and then we have scale one, four, and fives. You pendulum summon from the hand or the extra deck. And those are the two main ways to summon level sevens. Now, how do you synchro? If you have a level seven on the field from either of the two methods, you can then use the noble dragon magician from the hand or the grave to special summon onto the field by reducing the level seven to a level four, then four plus three equals your meteor burst dragon. Then Meteor Burst will summon your level 7 Pendulum from the back row. Then you can make the Ebb and Illusion, and that's great. Now let's get into some good plays. Turn 1, I generally like to have the Odd Eyes arc into my Pendulum Zone at all costs, no matter what. And then I want to either destroy my own card with the Sky Iris or just let the Odd Eyes Pendulum destroy itself during the end phase, which will trigger the arc. And what's good about that is because when you have the Odd Eyes in the field during your points turn, when they destroy it by Battle of Card Effect, you're going to summon Odd Eyes back onto the field. So if you want, I do maybe have some gameplay using Lancer. Lancer is a fun card, 3,000 attack, 2,000 defense. I really hated drawing this, but if it was in the deck and I was using it with the Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum, it was great. Also level eight, so that could make it a little bit more difficult to do your level seven plays. The Lancer, when attacking, your opponent cannot activate any back row. And if any time an Odd Eyes card would be destroyed, you could destroy another Odd Eyes card to protect it, even from the hand. Sky Iris and the Spiral Flame Strike can search for your Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum. The Sky Iris and the Spiral Flame Strike can also search for your Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Now, not only am I playing three Noble Dragon Magician, not because I think it's optimal, I just really wanted to showcase this card, but I could actually search it with the Pendulum Call. Discard with Pendulum Call to grab a Noble Dragon plus a Pit or a Dragon Pulse Magician. And then your Pendulum Scales that are Magicians, they cannot be destroyed until the end of your opponent's turn. So if you want, you could do a pretty cool play where you could Pendulum Call, discard a Noble Dragon, grab a Noble Dragon, grab an 8, set the scales 5 and 8. You could then Pendulum Summon a level 7 onto the field, use the Noble Dragon in the graveyard to summon. You can then Black Rose Dragon the entire field, and the Black Rose Dragon will not destroy your own Pendulum Scales because of the Pendulum Call. Not only does Spiral Flame Strike search and destroy your own cards if you want, it could also destroy your opponent's cards. If you have an Odd Eyes card, you could destroy a back row or a monster. The Sky Iris not only searches for the Arc or the Odd Eyes, it also is a protection for your Pendulum Scales. Your Pendulum Scales cannot be targeted by card effects. And beyond that, when you are making Pendulum Summons, you can maybe Dracosac turn one. If you don't want to summon the Ebon Illusion, you can make a Dark Arm Dragon to destroy two cards on the field, but you cannot attack. You can, with the Ancient Fairy Dragon, destroy your opponent's field spell to then search your own field spell. Or you could play Necro Valley, play Sky Iris, make your Ancient Fairy, destroy your own Sky Iris, search for a Necro Valley if you want to be crazy. Black Rose already told you about that. And another big thing you want to know about the Meteor Burst is it turns off your opponent's hand traps. So what you want to do ideally with this, what could be really good is with the Meteor Burst Dragon, you could summon an Ebon Illusion alongside it, then Ebon Illusion plus another monster. They go in for game and with Tie That Binds, you won't even need this for attacking because it cannot attack the turn. It summons a Pendulum from your back row. 
But if you have multiple Noble Dragons, you could activate the effect of the Meteor Burst, giving up its attack. Then you could just turn it into another Meteor Burst, which can attack. That's the deck. Really fun, going second. Remember the two ways to summon your level sevens. Remember how to Synchro Shokan. There's some other cool plays and tricks that you will see in the gameplay. Have at it, fools. Pendulum call. Heed the call, discard them all. Give me the pit. The pit is lit. Let's go, mate. All right, so we are going to activate the pit. Activate the dragon. We're going to flame on. We're going to flame it on. Flame it. What the heck is that? What the heck is that, mate? Come on. Odd eyes, odd eyes, odd eyes. We got odd, we got eyes. Cometh to me. Me odd eyes. Now, what if he has Sphere Creep or Kite Roid? Oh, at 5,000 life? What the heck? We're going to Pendulum Summon. Swing far. Attack. So what is the damage? Where's my calculator? Calculator, calculator, calculator. I can't find my calculator. Calculator is right there. What the heck, Gia? During the flame on? Really? Pause that. 18 plus 25 plus 6. That's 49. Gia, you still have not paused it. What are you doing? What are you doing? I can't pause it right now. I'm making giant plays. All right. Noble Dragon. Turn the fool into that. Odd eyes. We odd. I'm counting on you. Media burst. We bursted. Special summon the dragon pit. The pit is lit. I special summon a monster. Ab an illusion. I can't, I, I can't do these two because it's not lethal. The freaking 5,000 life with time it binds. We have 18 plus 25 plus 600. That's 49, 49. So I have to use these. I got to use these. If we summoned an arc dragon instead, no, it doesn't matter. Okay, detach. Wait, hold up, hold up. We can still do it. We can still do it. What? I, know what to do. I could just make another one. Can this one not attack? Hopefully it does not say something like Meteor Burst cannot attack or just this card cannot attack, right? Can it attack? This card cannot attack? I'm reading this. I read this card cannot attack. Okay, this one can. This one can. Holy moly. Holy moly, this one can. Wow. That's insane. Tie the binds, no monster effects whatsoever. All three can attack. Woo! Let's go. Continue the attack. No sphere. No kite roid because of light point boost A, that 100 damage. We didn't have lethal. Now we do. And we turned off the hand traps. Yes. And we did it with a million distractions. Gia, you're fired. You may have knocked me down. But it'll take more than that to knock me out. That's what dual taining is all about. I set the pendulum. I set the scale. I set the scale. I could set the pulse for extra protection. If we really want to go all in on protecting ourselves, probably not good to do this, but YOLO. YOLO. So you want to go all in. The thing is now when you do something crazy to make up for having a bad turn one, you are then going to lose if they disrupt it because all our resources are now pretty much gone. We're going to summon the Lancer. 
Lancer could be pretty good. Let's go. Yeah. So if we solve turn one, we solve the deck. Galloping Gaia. The Odd Eyes Lancer can protect from destruction even through a Galloping Gaia. Monster and attack. We could put Dracosac in. We'll, we'll, we could try out forcing Dracosac turn one. See how it goes. We could play Necro Valley to turn one Ancient Fairy, grab a Necro Valley. That would have stopped what he's doing right now. All right. Well, we could try some Dracosac. Can try some sack. Zero attack. What are you doing, mate? What are you doing, mate? Putting me to D. So this your opponent cannot activate cards or effects during the battle phase. That is totally not Q. If I protect it from destruction right now, then it will he'll not become 5200 is that a big deal stopping the 5600 how much of a big deal is that we probably have to yolo yolo if i had odd eyes in the hand it would have been so much better so now what he didn't attack into it he didn't attack into it what skyris chill just don't do anything i'm not doing anything crazy this is we're just doing some we're just hanging out man come on we're hanging out Woo! all right come on activate wow what the heck happened battle Keck waits. Keck waits. What is going on, mate? No. Yes. Anyway. Anyway. What? What is going on? So, do we now take out the soldier Gaia because it could tribute to search for the thing, right? We don't have to worry about origin, right? Origin putting him back to 26. Oh my. My field spell activates. Field spell activates. He's got it anyway, mate. But as you can see, we are okay. Are we not okay? Wait, Spiral Spear? What does that do again? You attack a defense and flick piercing? And your turn? You don't have a dragon to summon, mate. No way, mate. Let's freaking go. Come to me, Odd Eyes Pendulum. Activate. I don't have a noble dragon. Okay. I could destroy special summon. Get destroying. No. And then we'll grab an odd eyes. Then we'll click yes. Come forth in special summon from the deck. Holy moly. We set in the scales. What the? What the? What the? We can't even do Ebon Illusion because of the field spell. Keck, wait. Let's freaking go, mate. Woo, look at that field. Yes. Okay. 
How did we win? She was a fool. She was a fool. I can't believe my car techniques didn't work. Let's do it. Trishala is good for Floodgate. Okay. So what we want to do here, we got a pit, the pit, the pulse. Only if we have a magician card in the other pendulum zone can we discard the dragon to get poppin'. Okay. Skyrus. His back row's not activatable right now. Not activatable right now. Come to me. The arc. Arc. We're good. Okay. Spiral flame strike. Add the pendulum dragon. Set the pendulum dragon. Okay. Looks like we're good. Sky Iris, pop. Activate to add to the hand. We'll add an odd eyes pendulum. Activate the arc. The arc could special summon an odd eyes lancer. Special summon. No synchro play, no synchro. Nothing on summon. What the heck? What the heck? What's he got? What you got? Pulse? <laughs> you, got, you got nothing? You gotta have something. How can you have nothing? Pendulum summon a monster. Get your con in. We wanna play around a drowning, yeah? Okay, I'll play around drowning. Odd Eyes Pendulum. Play around. If you want to play around Drowning, we attack with the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon first, and then we attack with the Lancer for game. Let's go. Big Deeps. Wow, good duel. Can't activate anything. That's it. Cannot. Let's check for Drowning. Check for Drowning. Check for Drowning. Check for Drowning. Carpy, thank you. Yeah, he had a drowning. He had a drowning. 